I wanted to write the book that I wish that I had when I was starting out, when I was sitting in my room trying to figure out guitar parts to different records and wanting to get into my first bands. And then eventually when I got into the bands, then there was a bunch of knowledge that I needed to pick up, like, uh, you know, in rhythm guitar playing and soloing and songwriting. So with this book, um, I wanted to share the most essential knowledge that I picked up as a guitarist in rock bands and as a songwriter using the guitar as my main instrument and share the knowledge that moved me forward the most. So I set out to teach the really useful and cool stuff in rhythm guitar playing and also wanted to explain soloing in a satisfying way and address some important song related issues. And finally, I also wanted to explain the basics on amps and effects because that seems to intimidate a lot of people. I also thought that many female guitarists out there might enjoy getting advice from other highly accomplished female players. Uh, there's a lot of guitarists out there that have landed some pretty major gigs and they're touring the world and yet they still don't get to share their insights in guitar magazines and other guitar literature that often. I also interviewed 11 great guitarists for this book. Jennifer Batten, Kat Dyson, Sue Foley, Lita Ford, Kaki King, Anne Klein, Bibi McGill, Orianti, Vicki Peterson, Anna Popovich, and Nancy Wilson. And as you explore each chapter, they're going to be sharing encouraging advice and also some very useful tips on guitar playing and musicianship with you. I've had a lot of students over the years ask me to help them to find their way around the guitar and also to demystify things like soloing and gear. Others ask me how to figure out songs by ear, or how to write their own songs, or how to get more creative as a rhythm guitar player. I'm a performing artist and songwriter and I both sing and play lead and rhythm guitar in most of the bands that I play in, but I gotta say that doing all those things was definitely a gradual process for me. If you want to express yourself through rock guitar and you want to join a band but maybe you want to pick up a couple of skills before you make that move, then you should definitely check this book out. Or if you're in a band already, maybe this book can inspire you to branch out and try some new things. Because maybe you're a rhythm guitar player who wants to know how to play lead. Or maybe you're a singer who wants to pick up rhythm guitar. Or maybe you already play some solos but you want to know how to play across the fretboard without getting lost. Or you want to know how to get your hands stronger, how to do string bends, know what chords sound good together with your notes. Or maybe you just want to know how to improvise or create a great solo for a particular song. So here I'm talking about all this rock guitar stuff and maybe some of you are out there saying, well hey, wait a minute, I've got an acoustic guitar and the only thing I know how to do is play some basic campfire chords. Well, there's no need for you to worry about that. I've, uh, there's actually a lot of really cool things you can do in rock with open chords and I've included a special section in the book with tips to help you out and to cover some of the information that you might need to move on further in the book.